Okay, so this is the workaround for how to avoid the expensive captain tape and uh, having to, you know, have it ripped off of the plate every time and then changing it. So, okay, so the quickest and the cheapest way is basically to go to a, a dollar store or 99 cent store and get one of these uh, uh, basically frames, you know, it's like a, a picture frame uh, that's eight by 10 inches right there. And this particular one cost me about, I don't know, $1.29 or something like that. Anyway, so you get you get the uh, the glass out of it, right? So as you could see, it's bigger. I'm using the um, Replicator 2X and uh, it's bigger than the build plate that the Replicator has, but basically what I did is I, I used Windex uh, and just cleaned off the, the metal plate, the surface of it, and I cleaned the glass also completely clean with Windex on both sides, right? Then I put the, uh, the glass on top, and then I used these clips that uh, could be bought at, uh, you know, Staples or anywhere uh, office supplies are sold. And since you see the, the path, that the beginning path that the printer calibration or, I don't know, like a test uh, squeeze out of the um, extruders, uh, it just starts here and then it just makes a line, okay? And it perfectly fits, you know, as long as you are, do you notice there's a little bit of a gap here, like the, uh, the glass overlapping the, uh, what's it called, the build plate? So it beautifully fits a, a medium size clip right to the point where it just ends here, okay? So, you know, the beginning stage, you know, it, it hits up the, uh, the build plate and then it hits up the uh, extruder and then it starts from here and it's just like doo -doo 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 and then it ends here and it doesn't go any further. So it's not going to bump into the, uh, the clip, okay? Then it goes back and then it extrudes the um, a little bit of uh, the filament and then it goes to build the uh, the model right so what I did in my case is basically I waited you know I started the print right and I waited for the point where the um, the plate got hot to 110 degrees and then before it would go and start uh, kind of heating up the uh, extruder. I used this $2, I also picked it up at the 99 cent store. It's basically $2 uh, hairspray, okay? At 99 cents uh, stores, they sell it for $2, I don't know why. But anyway, so this is the Pantene uh, Pro-V and it's for, I don't know, colored hair and it's extra strong hold, right? So, but uh, the, there are people on the web who are saying that there is Suave uh, hairspray, which is also extra, extra strong hold. So, it seems like all of them work. So, what I did is I just opened the bottle, right? And I just quickly sprayed, like continuously, like over the surface, you know, for about, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. And it created this kind of layer of the spray and that's basically what's going to be preventing the uh, the model to stick to the glass right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove the uh, the model from the build plate by using a one of these rulers right so it's a very thin ruler I tried not to use a knife and look how easily it just came off I mean I didn't the the build plate already cooled off and by the way this took uh, 42 minutes to, to print and this this model is available on Thingiverse I don't know if I could uh, get you to see that number because it's too bright anyways so this is a, a hook and it printed it beautifully as you could see nothing and there's a little bit of a spot that's uh, on the surface but it came off beautifully right now it's it's still hot but uh, I guess you have to wait for it to cool off a little bit and then it just beautifully comes off so and 
try to avoid putting the clip all the way here on this uh, corner because let's say okay so you know after I installed the glass right I had to calibrate the extruders so they're all leveled so I mean calibrate the uh, the build plate not the extruders so when you do that with using the uh, replicator 2x you know within the uh, the settings utilities um, you want to make sure that the path that the extruders go along the plate okay is not blocked with these guys okay the clips so I basically just the way you see it attached right now is how it should work so I didn't I didn't you know move them around after I uh, calibrated the thing the uh, the build plate so at this point everything seems to be working fine and thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time